Hello friends. In last two sessions on pain triggers, we have discussed some simple cases of pain triggers as well as some advanced cases. And we have covered when the pain trigger is inclined to one plane and perpendicular to another plane, or when it is inclined to both the planes, or when the plane trigger is inclined to a plane and one edge is inclined to a plane. Now there are few more cases which I would like to discuss in this session, and one is when the one edge is inclined to HP and B at theta. So this is called theta phi case. Theta phi case. One edge of a plate is inclined. Now this is the plate, let us say, and you can take any edge. This edge is inclined to both the plates. The plate figure can assume any position. It can rotate about this line, but this line is fixed. It is inclined to horizontal plane, inclined to vertical plane. And therefore, to solve this case, if we solve it like a line, a okay, line inclined to horizontal plane and vertical plane. So let us first keep this plane in the horizontal plane. Take this plane in horizontal plane and satisfying the condition of phi. Let us say this edge AB makes angle phi with the vertical plane and this is the plate A to C. Now it is in the horizontal plane, so you get the elevation on ground line A dash C dash B dash. Now this is the plate which you have kept and it is it is kept like this that this edge is inclined to vertical plane. Plate is in vertical plane. Now, now you give this angle theta to this line. Okay? And if you remember the projection of a line, when a line is inclined to horizontal plane and vertical plane, there is a plan difference and elevation difference between the ends of the projection. L sine theta is the elevation difference and L sine phi is the plan difference. And that is the condition to be satisfied if a line is inclined to both the space. Now here you see the plan difference between A and B is L sine phi. Because you have taken the total angle here and you have taken two angle here. So the plan difference between A and B is L sine phi. But the elevation difference between A and B is zero because both the points lie in the ground line. And therefore, if you can satisfy this condition of L sin theta in the elevation of AB, then this edge AB will make angle with HP and BP both. So, what we do, you can draw, there are two methods of doing it. Either you go by that figure, this is, let us say, any point M here. And this is a right angle triangle, and that is the property of right angle triangle that if you draw a circle on this diameter, it will pass through this point. That is the property of it. That any any triangle made on the diameter is a right angle triangle. And therefore, if you draw a semicircle on this a dash b dash here. And then take the distance, this distance Bm equal to L sin theta, Bm equal to L sin theta, then and then you take a plane perpendicular to this. 
this. This is the ground line. Ground line is perpendicular to L sin theta. A plane here, L sin theta. And we project this plate on this plane. This, this is IP. This plane is perpendicular to vertical plane because you have drawn it in vertical plane. But it is not a horizontal plane. Therefore, it is inclined. So if you project this plate on this plane, take this distance for A, this distance for C, and this distance for B from this line, from this line. So here is A and C, C will be somewhere here and B here. You get the new plan.
number C nine, which you got here in the earlier case, you will get here. An equation is still alive. An equation is still alive. Earlier it was here. Now it is here in client. And now you can see that the same difference between A and B is here because you are moving parallel to ground line. So L sine phi and L sine theta. So H A B is inclined to both the reference plane H B. That is how you can solve a case when one edge is inclined. You can solve this case also when two two edges are inclined. Okay. So one edge can be like this. Let us say A B inclined to angle theta and B C inclined to angle phi. Then you can solve this case like this. That first satisfy condition of phi here, and then in the second figure satisfy condition of theta. So, friends, thank you very much. 